Hi guys, it's Tammy with Yellow Sparks Joy. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I have bought so far this year for spring 2022. So it's new pieces that I've added to my collection, essentially what's new in my wardrobe. And most of the items that I've added recently are to plug-in holes where I have found that I needed certain pieces to make my wardrobe more rounded and also colors and styles that I need or I want <laughs> because let's be honest it's a want <laughs> for spring 2020 now as always everything that i mentioned here today as much as i can find i will link in the description of box below i know there are some retailers here that may not be available in other countries but they're certainly available in canada and if i can find international shipping options for them i will put all of that information in the description box so I'm going to show you first the new clothing pieces that I got and then we'll move on to shoes and then handbags So the first item I'm going to be talking about is this purple faux leather jacket from Arden Now Arden is a retailer that is very similar to maybe a Forever 21 or a H&M I would say So very very affordable, nice pieces This is definitely faux leather but it's not a plasticky kind of faux leather I quite like how it feels and I got this in like this lilac color because you know spring I thought it was perfect for the season and also the fact that it is this jacket style which you kind of see more in um, fuzzy cozy knitwear kind of fabric mostly for fall but I thought that this leather version was perfect for spring it is very long it goes all the way down and covers my back real nice they had it in a black and a brown I was very very tempted to get the brown and honestly I might just go back and get it because I feel like the brown will go much better with so many things in my wardrobe but I really wanted to try out this lilac I felt like I needed to inject more spring colors into my wardrobe and so far I think it looks great the way I've styled it I styled it simply with a black crop tank and then black jeans the idea i originally had for styling when i was buying this was with black denim shorts or black tweed shorts but i have not found the perfect tweed to even try that out i'm still looking if i find something i really really love then i'll get it and i'll see if it all comes together but i just think it will look really nice with shorts since this is a longer style jacket but i like it it's comfortable to wear it's warm it's nice for this season especially where I live because it's not so warm out there but still I just want less and less layers now that we're actually out of the cold Canadian winter it does button up so you could do all of the buttons up if you wanted or I would definitely just leave it open because it is a kind of boxy long fit you could also roll the sleeves up if you wanted but I definitely prefer it long like this because i just think it gives that nice cool um street vibe when it is long but here it is folded up just so you can see and that's a whole other look right i there. did get quite a bunch of stuff from zara and then walmart arden and of course coach and i also have a few pieces from amazon to share as well so next up is this set i got from walmart so this is a sweatshirt and it has the matching jogger pants as well you can buy these as separate it comes in so many different colors i'm hoping that it will be available on walmart.com so then i can link that as well as walmart.ca these are selling out fast this particular color which i think walmart.ca calls a natural already sold out it sold out in my store so i was able to get the shirt in my store but then the pants were already sold out and i had to order the pants online so hopefully i can find all the colors still available online but they are a hot ticket item they sold out really fast earlier this year i really really like this though i like the color i think the color is really really nice on my skin tone and I think it just goes really great as it says. Imagine the shirt tucked into the pants and then um, paired with a pair of sneakers that I'm also going to be showing you soon. That entire tonal vibe, I think that look in my head is going to be really, really good. I'm hoping that I'm able to execute it as well. And so it's just a plain shirt. It does have elastic at the bottom right here. The, the shirt itself does not have any stretch to it, but... It has the elastic band at the waist and then it also has elastic cuffs on both 
sleeves the pants as well have elastic on the waist it also has a functional drawstring which is always nice and if you don't like that hanging out you can always tuck it in just to hide it while you wear it it has pockets which is always great always always yay for pockets especially on joggers because i just think it makes that cut look so much better and then the bottom also has that same elastic so it gives it a nice cuff especially when you're wearing these with sneakers finally from walmart is this very beautiful blouse that i have here this i really love because of the flutter sleeves i don't know there's just something about ruffles on a sleeve like this that is well done that i really like it also has a panel here so it goes high on your um armpits so it doesn't show it doesn't give room for your bra to show which i really 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 appreciate most um shirts that have this style don't have that like it's just open all the way and then i find out that my bra is always showing or like sometimes you get a side boob and so I think it was it's a nice um, thought for them to have put that panel there, which is great. I also like the fact that it has the smocked waist. So this helps to define your waist. It also kind of gives it a cropped look. And I got this in an extra small. Oh, for the jogger set, I got the top in an extra small. And then I got the bottoms in a small. And for this top, because I wanted it to look, to have that really cropped uh, look I got it in an extra small so it's a bit smaller or a bit shorter than the size small would have been they also have it in a blue color with white stripes which I was very tempted to get but I did realize while sorting through my clothes recently that I have a lot of blue and white tops so I'm not buying any more blue tops for spring and summer I have enough so I got it in the plain white only which works great because it works as a casual outfit but you can also wear it to work so i did pair it with my pistachio green skirt this is from mango it has really nice polka dots and then it's pleated i love this i've had this for years maybe five years and i refuse to give it up because i just love the flow i love the way it moves when i walk i just love everything about it the fabric is so nice so gentle so easy to take care of as well and so i paired it with this shirt for work and it was it was really really nice i got a lot of compliments on this when i wore it to work and i'm so happy so yeah this top is very very versatile works for casual outfits also works for dressier outfits as okay so next up are the items i got from zara and i'll start first with these pair of shorts that i got very recently um, still has the price tag on it so yes i can tell you the price of this one this one was $39.90, so basically $40. And I got this in a size small. It is true to size. I love the fit of it. I love the buttons. The buttons down the side are actually true buttons. So, so you can unbutton it to access a pocket in there, but I wouldn't really do that to be honest because then that would defeat the style and the whole purpose of having those buttons there. It does have a zipper down the side so you can fit easily into it and i just like the cut i like the way it is structured it's very um it's cut really well basically that's all i'm trying to say and i think it'll be perfect for summer i can't wait to wear this i feel like it'll go paired really well with this top from walmart it'll pair really well with anything mostly white i think white is really really chic is really really classy on brown i love white and brown a lot and i think this would be really nice paired with a white top and maybe a pair of black heels or even black sneakers i think those looks that will look so great um can even pair it with this black shirt that i got also from zara and so i'll talk about that and so i absolutely love this type of clean cut classic basic shirt that zara does so well they have these in so many colors in fact i picked this up because last year i bought the exact same shirt in a dark emerald green color and i love it i absolutely love the shirt i wear it to work a whole lot i've gotten so much wear out of it and it has done so well it washes well it doesn't crease so badly i love the cut i love the fit it's free it's not um so tight and i just i just like that shirt so much and i decided 
why not add it in a black i wanted to get it in white as well but i have two white shirts already one in cotton and one in linen and i thought mm, maybe hold on on buying any more white shirts and buy black instead so this is like a satiny material it has two buttons on the cuffs and then it is buttoned down on the in the front i like the way the collar is as well so the buttons don't run up all the way to the front they stop here so it gives it kind of like a v-neck in front and that's really all there is to the shirt very nice flowy airy material i'm definitely going to get a lot of these out of this because not only will i be using it as workwear but i will also be using it for casual outfits as well like i said i could pair it with the brown shorts from zara i could also pair it with this waistcoat that i got also from zara actually i've already worn it this way and so i'll just talk about the waistcoat next this shirt before i forget is a size extra small because it does run big so it's a size extra small and i got this also for 40 canadian dollars so this is probably my absolute favorite from zara that i got in this particular haul i just love everything about it i love the color i love the cut I don't have any waistcoats in my collection so this is the first one um i just i don't know when i put it on it fits so well it fits so so well and i thought it would be great not just for work but also casual as well i can imagine pairing this with a pair of black leggings or black shorts wearing just a basic white tee in there or nothing at all i could just wear it all buttoned up like this it would just look so nice so clean and so elevated so yeah i can't remember how much i got this um the tag is off because i did wear it already this one is a size extra small does fit a little bit big so i got it in an extra small and i absolutely adore this piece. so that is everything i got from zara recently now let's talk shoes i'm going to show you two pairs of shoes that i bought this first one is from spring i love spring because they have affordable trendy shoes spring to me is kind of like an aldo so whatever is in season whatever is on trend you can definitely find a version of it from spring and i had been eyeing these brown shoes for a while now this pair i got solely for the purpose of wearing with the sweatsuit <laughs> it was a great match i'm very happy i got them um i know that i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it because it is a basic color it is a neutral i can wear it with so many other things but i'm just being totally honest with you i got them just because i wanted to wear it with that switch suit and i'm very happy i got them i do not regret it at all i was looking at a particular a similar pair from steve madden um in this color but with stones all over like it was totally bedazzled and if you don't know know now that stones jewels all of those blingy elements are in style this year you're going to be seeing a lot of things on the high street in the contemporary designers even luxury designers are doing bejeweled and stoned items as well in handbags in shoes in clothes you're going to be seeing it all so i saw a pair in this particular natural color in steve madden with all of the stones and i was so tempted to get it but I bought something else from Steve Madden and so I'm like okay I'm not gonna spend that amount of money on two pairs of shoes from Steve Madden and so I went to get the alternative from Call It Spring which I absolutely love like that was a very good decision I love the top of it it feels like it's going to be airy I love the heel height I love how um, it feels like it's really sturdy again i have not worn these yet but they were very comfortable when i tried them on in the store i got these in a size 40 which is a us size 9 and that is my true size i love the way this part molds to the top of my foot um it doesn't leave any gaping or any holes it does feel very solid as well and i feel like it's going to hold up and stand the test of time so i'm really looking forward to wearing this it's made of vegan materials um i can't remember the name of the style in particular but i will find it and i will leave it linked in the description box below now from steve madden i got the maxima r sneakers i've been wanting the sneakers for a year now 
but for some reason i just never made the move i never bought it i'll wait for a sale and then a sale will come and i'll be like i don't really need it but i eventually bought it like i had no idea i was gonna buy it the day that i did but i just stumbled on it and i was like okay now is the time to move. you need to buy it now <laughs> so look at these gorgeous maxima sneakers like just look look at how shiny it is <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. I love the bling. I love, love, love the bling on these shoes. They are the perfect amount of bling for me. They are, I won't say they're subtle, but they're not as loud because they're in that black. The same black as the entire shoe and I just love these. They're, they're perfect. That's all I can say. They're the perfect shoe for summer and of course for all year round. Look at that just look like the entire thing and the black it comes in many different colors it comes in that natural color as well just as in the spring shoe but the bedazzling is not all over the shoe it's just in certain spots which is why i really really like the back because on the back it is everywhere everywhere except on the sole of the shoe which again is very similar to the sole that is on the spring shoe that rubbery um, but hard sole which I really really like and then you have the laces you have some fabric elements running through the shoe and then you have the stones all around it the stones are in different sizes so there are big ones and then there are smaller ones and I just think that adds to the touch of glam to the shoe so the Steve Madden and Maxima are very happy I was finally able to add this to my collection this cost me about a hundred hundred and twenty dollars canadian i think so yeah well worth the purchase i can already see myself getting so much use out of this for many years to come. okay so that's it for shoes now let's talk handbags all of these handbags i'm going to be showing you've probably already seen and i will leave links to my dedicated videos on the handbags in the description box below first off is this one <laughs> my beautiful blue fin cashing tote 32 i just got this this is one of this is actually my most recent purchase and i'm in love with this i have her packed and ready i'm taking her on a trip real soon and i cannot wait to test her out use her for many many things because this is going to be like my workhorse on this trip and i mean workhorse so carry my laptop carry on my bits and bobs go shopping go to work go do everything that i'm doing on this trip so yeah i'm really really excited to um try her out for a whole one week non-stop of use so this is one of also one of uh coach's most recent releases for spring 22 it comes in three different colors blue fin papaya and a green which is in their original natural leather it also comes in different sizes so there are smaller sizes in different colors um, there's a vanilla there's a pink there's a pistachio i think there's an ice purple as well i'll leave links to all of that in the description box below so you can check those out and decide on whichever size and which color would work for you this spring and of course this color is so classic and so beautiful i'm definitely going to be wearing this all year round next handbag is this one here that i got earlier in the season and i got this from the coach outlet this is the cleo top handle signature chambray bag and that's just another way of saying denim so this is a denim bag with this beautiful natural dark leather um strap and top handle also has that beautiful um tassel and hang tag there which i absolutely adore this is a very very comfortable bag to wear and to use it holds all of my essentials and a little bit more it's definitely going to be perfect for spring for summer and even into fall i think it'll work perfectly in fall as well this style also comes in other colors so you have the faded blush multi the marble blue multi and the signature canvas multi all gorgeous all beautiful one of the newer lines at coach outlet and of course i will leave all of that linked in the description box below and finally the very very seasonal bag that i got also from coach outlet is this beautiful molly tote in the size 25 
so this one comes in lots of color this particular color is called the violet orchid it also comes in the retro yellow which is a very cool yellow it comes in the ochre as well which is another yellow kind of like a sunny gold yellow it comes in the candied orange which i think is currently sold out on the website but you might be able to find it on the resale market it comes in white it comes in red and it comes in a pink i love this molly style this is the first time i'm buying a molly 25 first time i'm trying it and honestly when i used it for the past couple of weeks for work I didn't want to move out of it <laughs> it was so comfortable to use so easy to access all my stuff I, I had a hard time moving out of this bag I had to practically force myself to switch to another bag but this is definitely now on the top of my favorite styles list from coach outlet I did add um, this bag charm to it it doesn't come with a charm but I bought this also from the outlet website it is the C um, signature C cluster charm for spring and i just think it adds a nice touch of dazzle to an already beautiful and to wrap it all up i have three pairs of sunglasses to share with you guys the first is a pair i got from miniso the affordable japanese store and i particularly like these because of the polygon shape and the handle here is kind of like a turquoise or an aqua very nice so it's not the traditional brown or black and i really really like that about it and these i got for nine dollars and they're big and wide and they cover my entire face which i really appreciate um i'm not really a sunny's person because i wear prescription glasses for far sight so most of the time i have my prescription glasses on which are tinted and it gives me um the protection i need from the sun but once in a while i do like wearing sunglasses but i never really find the ones that i think fit the shape of my face so i was very happy when i found these i like the color of the lenses i also like the color like i mentioned of the hand i just think it's really great and one i'm going to enjoy wearing this summer these next pair of sunglasses i got from spring totally did not intend to buy these but i saw them and i was hooked it cost me 11.99 canadian dollars and these i picked out because of the white rim around the lens i do not have any white pair of glasses it also has white on the handle there and these come in a black version as well but i did buy the white again like i said because i do not have a white pair of sunnies so i like the cut eye look um i like how big again they are what do you guys think i think these will look so good in a bathing suit by the pool actually that's the way i have them envisioned in my head and finally these pair of glasses i am very very happy about i saw this on hilo Lux's, um youtube channel she's a youtuber i watch i really like her style even though we don't necessarily have the same type of style but i really like the way she styles her outfit and it does give me a lot of inspiration so these came from amazon they're a dupe for celine glasses which are supposedly very very popular i'm not into glasses so i don't know that but it came in this package with a whole lot of um bells and whistles so in here and I, which i think is great for an amazon buy so in this pouch it has the soft case or soft pouch for the glasses which i think is really nice it feels like nice quality and then it does have the cleaning cloth as well which is also very nice quality feels like and is a good sized fabric right there so here's the actual glasses which i love they are a perfect shape i love the shape of this i love the color it's an all black it does come in several other colors as well on um amazon but these all black ones look so classy like so so classy look at that look at that <laughs> it just i feel like it, it elevates any and every outfit this is really nice i love these
that is it guys that is everything that i've added recently to my wardrobe i hope you found that interesting everything like i said previously that i have mentioned and talked about in this video will be linked in the description box below thank you so much for joining me in today's video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're not yet subscribed already please subscribe to my channel i would love to have you here hit the tiny notification bell beside that subscribe button so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video i'll see you in my next one bye